Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the TickPods 2 Pros. Now you can pick these up from their official website. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on these, 125 bucks. Now they come in three different colors. You got navy, ice, and blossom. So that's basically blue, white, and pink. All right, so let's go through all of the features. You got Bluetooth 5.0. The IPX4 dust and water resistant. You got Qualcomm APTX for high quality sound. You got four hours worth of battery on a single charge and an additional 16 hours with the charging case. So that's a total of 20 hours battery. These feature quick charge. So five minutes of charge will give you one hour worth of playback. You got dual mics for noise cancellation, crystal clear phone calls. Now these feature tick here, quick commands. All right, that's your voice commands. You got tick motion, head gestures, so control the earbuds using your head. And you got tick here, wake up word. So you can say, hey, Ticko, and activate your smart assistant. Now we'll test all of these features out. You also got your regular touch controls, and there's an app that's available for Android and iOS. Now I know what you're saying. What's the difference between the TickPods 2 and the TickPods 2 Pro? Five key differences. Number one, the price. Now with the TickPods 2, you're looking at 90 bucks. With the TickPods 2 Pro, 125 bucks. Next, battery. Now with the TickPods 2, you got 23 hours worth of battery. With the TickPods 2 Pros, 20 hours worth of battery. So you're actually getting three extra hours with the TickPods 2. Next, Qualcomm APTX technology. Now you don't have that on the TickPods 2, but you do have it on the TickPods 2 Pro. Next, Dual mics for noise isolation. Now, on the TickPods 2 Pro, you got dual mics. On the TickPods 2, you got single mic. And lastly, touch controls. Now, with the TickPods 2, you got your basic touch controls. With the TickPods 2 Pro, you got tick here, your quick commands, tick motion, your head gestures, and your tick here, wake up word. So basically, if you buy the TickPods 2 Pro, you're losing three hours worth of battery, but you're getting Qualcomm ABTX, so your music is going to sound better. You're getting dual mics for noise isolation, so your phone call is going to sound better. And you're getting more ways to control your music using tick here, tick motion, and the voice commands. All right, so we got the TickPods 2 Pros on deck, 125 bucks. Let's check these out. First things first, shout out to White Shoes. She got the day off. Here we go. TickPods 2 Pro, true wireless earbuds, Qualcomm APTX technology, tick hand, tick motion. Let's see, did we miss anything? Quick commands, head gestures, touch controls, blah, blah, blah. Let's grab a little unboxing knife. Okay, we got the Jack Sparrow, here we go. Right. All right, TickPods 2 Pro. Now on a side note, at the end of this video, let me see if I still got them on me, yep. I'm gonna compare these to the original TickPods and see if they sound any different. Now you can get the original tick pods for 50 bucks. So we'll see if this is worth the difference. Here we go, tick pods 2 Pro. Let's pop these open. Okay, so we got a nice presentation alert. Tick pods 2 Brandon. Let's see what you get inside. Okay. Now this is gonna be a usual books and shit. Pluck them and follow them. But let's see now, you got a lot of different voice commands, head commands, and gestures. All right, so you gotta take a look at this if you want. Tickle, all right, that's your touch controls. Let's see anything else. Check your battery life. Cool, we'll play with this in a minute. Now, these are gonna be your earbuds. Okay, you got another little box right here. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> I know. More usual books and shit. Pluck them, follow them to the side. Let's see, this is gonna be USB-A to USB Type-C charging. All right, so USB Type-C on deck. I like that. Got a little poison for the trolls. Let me go ahead and save that. And that's pretty much it. Now, here's your TickPods, two pros. Let's go through the differences real quick. Now, if you notice, on the original TickPods, you got micro USB charging with the pros USB Type-C. All right, so now they're a little bit more future-proof, not to mention you're getting quick charge. All right, so five minutes equal one hour. I like that. Let's open these up. Okay, now you still got the same pencil-style earbuds. All right, y'all know we call them the douche buds. It is what it is. I actually like the navy blue ones. Let's see, on the inside, you got right and left branding. 
Okay, you can see a little mics on deck. Let's see, are they that much smaller than the originals? Okay, let's pull out one of these OGs. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, now if you notice, they're a little bit smaller and thinner than the originals. But the one thing that I'm worried about is the originals have the little rubber seals. So that made them sound better. A lot of times when you get earbuds that don't have the rubber seals, they don't sound as good. But only one way to find out. Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, white, white shoes, shoes is back in the building. White shoes, calm down. All right, let's throw these up in the case real quick and see how they look when you're charging them. Okay, let me uh, white shoes proof these real quick. Okay, so now here they are in the case. Let's do the shake test. Okay, now that's not maximum shakeage, that's just a regular shake. They're not coming out. Let's see, let's try maximum shakeage. Okay, now with maximum shakeage, you could dump them out. But on the standard shake, they're not gonna move. All right, so if you got these in your pocket or in your bag, and they happen to open up, they're not gonna pop plop out. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Let's see, little tick pods, Brandon. Let's see if we got LEDs on the front. Let me go ahead and grab a little charger real quick. Cause this looks like LEDs, all right, shoes. That looks like LEDs. Maybe, maybe not. All right, well, let me charge these up for a few minutes. Then we'll walk through the earbuds, we'll download the app, and we'll try all of the features. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now I got these all paired up, so now let's test them out. Now once you plug in the charging case, you're gonna see those LEDs on the front start flashing red. That means your earbuds are charging up. The next thing you wanna do is download the app. Now once you open up the app, connect it to your earbuds, it's gonna ask you to do an update, do the update. So I got 14 minutes left, let's let that load up. All right, so I just finished doing the update. You see it says disconnected. Now watch the reconnection. Check this out. So I'm gonna open up the case. Bong. Just like your AirPods and your AirPods Pro. That is sick. All right, so let's do that one more time. Open up the case. You see you got your battery percentage and your case battery with the same pop-up message that you have on your AirPods and your AirPods Pro. I'm feeling that. So now if you notice, it says connected, 85% on the left and on the right battery. Let's go through the different settings. Now you can change your headset name. You got a quick password. Okay, uh, invoke headset, that's your voice controls. We'll leave that on. You got in-air play. Now we'll leave that active. Basically what that means is, when you're playing your music and you take the earbuds out of your ears, they'll automatically pause the song. When you put it back in your ears, the song will start playing again. Leave that on. Head controls. All right, so we're gonna leave that on. Nod your head twice to answer a phone call. Shake your head twice to reject the phone call. So while you got these in your ears, if you're getting a phone call, nod your head twice, it'll answer the phone. Shake your head left and right, it'll decline the call. That's pretty dope. Let's see, double click. All right, so this is gonna be your different settings. So right now I got double click for play and pause, but you can also have it for previous song or the next song. You got more gestures. Okay, so you got touch controls. Volume up and down, answer and end phone calls, and swap to a second call. Okay, so you got a fully functional EQ. You got standard mode, classic, rock, heavy metal, hip hop, jazz, pop, bass, and mega bass. Now I'm gonna start off with bass, and then we'll try mega bass. Let's see, you got your beeps. All right, so you got your in-ear, active, low battery, double click, uh, headset touch. Okay, so you got your in-ear test and your slide test. Upgrades, feedback, and your facts. All right, so that's pretty much it for the app. All right, so let me throw these in my ears. I'll show you how they look, and we'll see how they sound. All right, so I just slapped these in my ears, and right away you can feel some noise isolation, but not that much. And let me show you why. If you notice, there's no rubber tips. Now here's the original tick pods. You see that rubber tip? That's gonna give you more of a noise isolation feel these don't have that, but I will say this, without having all that rubber, 
these fit into your ears a little bit more comfortably. All right, so these will be better for wearing for long periods of time. Okay, so I just slapped them back in. Like I said, no rubber on these, so they're very comfortable. Let's do the head shake test. We'll start at 50% shakage. Okay, no movement. Let's do maximum shakage. All right, no movement at all. All right, so these fit nice and snug. Now here's how they're gonna look. Okay, your pencil style. These are starting to grow on me. Everybody got their own flavor though. All right, so now let's do a little sound test. All right, so I got some classic NWA straight out of Compton, max volume, and I got the EQ set to hip hop. All right, here we go. Double tap for play and pause. I promise y'all I'm not gonna sing. All right, here we go. Birdman hands rubbing together. Ooh, okay. Oh, these sound good. All right, here we go, y'all. Straight out of Compton, crazy motherfucking name Ice Cube from the gang called Niggas with Attitude. When I'm called off, I got a sword off. Squeeze the trigger, my body's all hauled off. You two, boy, if you with me, the police are gonna have to come and get me off your. That's how I'm going now. For the punk mother that's showing now. Start to mumble. They want to rumble. Mix them in, cook them in a pot like gumbo. Going off on a mother like that. With a gat that's pointed at y'all. Ha! So give it up smooth. Ain't no telling what I'm down for, Jack Move. Alright, hold up. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. Double tap. <laughs> Double tap. Woo! Alright, y'all heard me. I was editing out my own curses. Alright, now I got to keep it real. I got to keep it real. These sound pretty good. They sound exactly like a set of AirPods, but maybe a little bit louder. But here's the thing. Do they sound better than the original Tick Pods? Let me do a little test and find out. Personally, I think the Tick Pods might sound better because of that rubber seal. All right, personally, I don't like no earbuds without the rubber seal because you lose bass. Now, these sounded loud and crystal clear, but they wasn't that heavy on the bass. Matter of fact, let me try to EQ at a different setting with a different song. All right, so I just did a side-by-side -side comparison with the Tick Pods Free and the Tick Pods 2 Pro. Same phone, same song, same settings, and I'm blown away. Let me tell you why. Now, with the Tick Pods Free and the rubber tips, I would have thought that these sound pretty much the same, but the Tick Pods Free are going to have a little bit more bass because of that seal. Boy, was I wrong. All right, when you put them side-by-side, -side, the Tick Pods 2 Pro are blowing these out the water. They're twice as loud, they're way cleaner, they sound better, and they have more bass even without the rubber tips. Now the Tick Pods Free, these are gonna run you 50 bucks. But once you hear the Tick Pods 2 Pros, I don't care if these was on sale for $10, you're never gonna wanna hear these again. All right, the Tick Pods 2 Pro are blowing these out the water. It's not even a competition. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do the one earbud test. Can you play music from one earbud while the other one is charging up in the case? Let's hit play on the music. Okay, so I'm gonna take out the right side. Okay, the music paused. Drop it in the case. Okay, so the left side is still playing. Put the right side back in. Now, let's take out the left side. Okay, the music paused. Drop it in the case. Let's hit play. And the music is playing from the right side. So you can play music from either earbud while the other one is charging up in the case. All right, so now let's do the reconnection test. How long do these take to reconnect to your phone after you take them out and put them in the charging case? Let's hit play on the music. Okay. Now take out the right side. Take out the left side. Wait for it to disconnect. Fully disconnected. So now we'll open up the case. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, three one thousands, and they automatically reconnected. That's pretty sick. All right, so now let's do the range test. Now these are Bluetooth 5.0, so they should be guaranteed 30 feet, but we'll do 40 feet and 50 feet just to be safe. All right, double tap for playing pause. Let's start walking. Girl, you knock me out. All right, this is 30 feet. 
Forty feet. Fifty feet. Okay, coming back. Back to thirty feet. Okay, double tap for playing pause. All right, I walked all the way back to 50 feet. No drop connection at all. The music was still crystal clear. All right, so now let's check the touch controls. I got the music playing. Let's try in-air detection. All right, so I took it out. You see it automatically paused. I'm gonna put it back in my ear. Automatically started playing. All right, so swipe up for volume up. You see the volume going up? Swipe down for volume down. Okay, double tap for play and pause. Okay, no problems with that. And long press for your voice assistant. What's the weather for tomorrow? All right, so everything works. All right, let's try the voice commands. Hey, Tico, play music. Hey, Tico. What's the weather for tomorrow? Okay, so everything works with that. All right, so now let's try the head gestures. I'm gonna call myself on the phone, nod twice to pick up the call, shake your head twice to decline the call. Let's wait for it to ring. Now I got the phone like this so I can block out my number. Y'all know how that goes. All right, so the phone is ringing. Now, I want to decline the call. I'm just going to shake my head twice. Oh, that was sick. All right, that was sick. All right, so the head gestures definitely work. All right, so now let's check the call quality. I'm going to call up the 24-hour diner, see what time they close. Take pods 2 pros. Ringing out of both ears. Let's get maximum volume. Yes, hi, is this Atlantic Diner? Yeah, what time you guys close tonight? Oh, 24 hours. Do you, do you deliver? Now, do I have to use like DoorDash or Uber Eats or you have a, your own delivery service? Okay, great. Okay, so let me get my order together and I'll call you back. All right, thanks a lot. All right, bye. All right, let me shake my head twice. Okay, just ended the call. All right, that's pretty dope. All right, that's pretty dope. Nice and loud, crystal clear. I had no problems hearing him. He heard me fine. And you hear the person out of both ears. All right, so these is the go. All right, so now let's check for lag latency. And what I mean by that is, when you're watching a video, is there any delay from the person's lips to what you hear? All right, so we'll start off with YouTube. Okay. No lag at all. All right, this is perfect. Let me try out some Netflix. All right, so I was watching Kill Bill on Netflix. Let's see if there's any lit sync delay. None at all. This is how you want to watch your videos. All right, let me try one more thing. All right, so one more thing. Now let's check the connectivity on an Android phone. So I already downloaded the app. We'll open up the case. Let's see if we get that same dope pop-up message. Bang, there it is. Battery percentage on the earbuds and on the case. And let's see, same functionality with the app. Everything is the same. All right, you see it says connect it. Let's close up the case. Just disconnect it. Let's try that one more time. That's a little bit faster on iOS, but it works exactly the same. All right, so now let's check for lag latency using an Android phone. Okay, so no lag on YouTube. Let's try out Netflix. 
All right, so I got Kill Bill on Netflix on an Android phone. Basically, no lag. Maybe a millisecond, but you can easily watch a movie like this with no problems. All right, so overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving the TickPods 2 Pros a major, major go. Are these worth 125 bucks? And the answer is yes, worth every penny. Now, you can get them in three colors. You got blue, white, and pink. You got USB Type-C charging, so they're pretty much future-proof. You got Bluetooth 5.0 and the IPX4 sweat and water resistant. You got the Qualcomm APTX technology, so your music is going to sound great. Now, these get nice and loud. You got good highs and mids and a nice bass line. Now, if you like me and you like a lot of bass, go to the app, put on bass or put on mega bass. And if you don't like a lot of app, play with the EQ settings for yourself. Now, you got four hours worth of battery on a single charge, and you can use the charging case to charge them up four more times. So that's 20 hours battery total. Not to mention, you got quick charge, so you charge them up for five minutes, that'll give you one hour worth of playtime. The phone call sounded nice and clear, you can hear the person out of both ears, no lag when you're watching your videos, you can use either earbud one at a time while the other one is charging the case, so that's going to double your battery life. All of the touch controls work, the voice commands work, and the head gestures work. Like I said, these are a major, major go. Now, I know somebody's going to ask, which one sound better, these or AirPods? And personally, they sound about the same. Now, you can't compare these to the AirPod Pros or even other earbuds like these, like the uh, Anchor Sound Cores. Whenever you get earbuds that have those rubber tips, they're going to sound like they have more bass. So comparing these to the uh, Anchors, I would say the Anchors definitely got more bass. And again, that's because of that rubber seal. Now, if you're going to be wearing earbuds all day at work, you don't want the rubber seal. All right? That's part of the reason why a lot of people like the original AirPods. No rubber seal. These fit in your ears nice and comfortable. And you can wear them all day, a full eight-hour shift. Same thing with the Razor Hammerheads. Same thing with these. All right? You can wear these all day long. They're not going to give you that feeling of being sucked in your ear with these rubber tips. Anyway, TickPods 2 Pros. Major, major, go. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock one to beam up. Energize.